did eight and a half years on a nine year sentence. I just didn't understand what his will for my life was, what his purpose for my life was. That was the moment that I hit just an all time low. My name is Natalie and when I was 16, I went to a friend's house and there was alcohol um, present um, and I chose to participate um, in drinking. And then I got in the car to drive home um, and I was pulling into my parents' neighborhood and um, turned in front of an oncoming car. Um, and I woke up in the hospital to find out that um, one of the passengers in the other car um, didn't survive. Um, her name was Lauren. Um, so you can imagine, um, not only was my uh, entire world shattered, um, but Lauren's family's world was shattered. I was charged with intoxication manslaughter, um, tried as an adult, um, and convicted to nine years in prison. I saw parole uh, for the first time and was denied. I was so hopeful that um, by praying and um, staying out of trouble and doing good that God would give me the things that I asked for and I would go home, be able to go home and be with my family. And so then I saw parole again the next year and was denied parole. Um, and then the third time I saw parole, um, I was granted. Uh, I was required to go to a six month drug and rehab program within the prison system then I would be able to be released back into society. And about a month into that program, um, I found out that my answer was taken. And Lauren's family um, didn't approve of the, the parole answer, and so they protested for that to be taken from me. On one end, I felt like I deserved that, but on the other end, I felt like, no, like I'm doing all of these good things. I made my life right, and that was the moment that I hit just an all-time low. That was the first time that I was angry um, at God. I just didn't understand what His will for my life was, what His purpose for my life was, and during that year was when my prayers turned from asking God to give me what I wanted and they shifted to asking God for His will to be done in my life and for me to be accepting of whatever that was. So I did eight and a half years on a nine year sentence. We were given each other's information and Amber gave me a call um, to see if I wanted to um, set up an interview. So as I started working with them, Amber uh, kept inviting me to FOTP. Finally, I said, okay, I'm gonna go. I was terrified. I didn't wanna go to church. I didn't wanna have to walk into a place where um, my past would be exposed and where I'd have to be vulnerable and share things with people and, and fear that they might judge me. And I just remember I remember leaving that day thinking, okay, this is this is home. What happened was tragic and it was awful, um, but it didn't end there. There are days even now where I'm overwhelmed with um, shame and guilt and, it, and there are hard days, um, but the most important thing is that um, through God's grace and mercy, I am made new.